and you just like, and then you I hear a voice from me. <laughs> what the f are you saying? <laughs> What is this terrible <laughs> fanfic that you've clearly thought about way too much? <laughs> can't think of anything. Ugh. For some reason, I'm thinking of Katniss from The Hunger Games. Why am I thinking about her? All right. Just J-Law in general. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. J-Law. I fucking love J-Law. I remember that time about? she was... Jennifer Lawrence. Remember when oh. she was naked on the internet? Oh, man. Those are some Oh, like the fappening? Yes, there was a day when I didn't know where Jennifer and Lawrence looked like naked, but today is not that day. Because well, it hasn't been that day for a while, yeah. It hasn't been that day for a while, but there was, I can remember, that was like the day that I turned into a man. <laughs> the day that I saw Jennifer Lawrence naked on the internet. And that I will never forget that day as long as I live. Like, when I'm dying and, like, my grandchildren are surrounding me, I, I will look them in the eyes and I'll be like... Have you looked at the pictures of Jennifer Lawrence naked on the internet? And hopefully well, they will say yes. But well, they probably won't know who Jennifer Lawrence is at that point. I feel like that's as good of a sign as any that this is, in fact, an Elden Drink episode. That that was the intro that Jesse came up with. And Talking about Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, he has, in fact, started the drink beforehand. I did. I have I not. I'm completely sober. Drinking. I mean, because you say that, you should probably take a drink right now, just to, like, catch up. No, yeah, I've got to earn it. What are you drinking? I just have beer today. I didn't have anything, and I went out and just went to a gas station. Beer? Wait, wait, let something. me guess what kind of beer you have. Okay. Is it Yingling? Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's I America's saw something oldest brewery. America's oldest brewery, but not, not North America's oldest brewery. Which is, in fact, Molson. Yeah, but For this, all you, this you, is you America. Out there. This is America. Well, in America, we like things bigger than normal. That's why we're going to go get this next weapon here. Okay, I so like just, the sound of that. I don't... I think we're happy with the swords we have, but I'm just going to give you some, you know, variety is the spice of life, as Jennifer Lawrence likes to say. So we'll, um... I did have to take a drink there. right there, because the beer did, uh overflow oh you, so you the didn't can even like it. pre pre drink you weren't even ready you this is like fresh this is a young green boy what do you mean like, fresh? on the internet like i'm saying like i already had my beer like cracked and open it's in a, a glass already but you're just like cracking it on the air and you didn't even let us hear the like cracking noise uh jeffrey make sure you like single out that audio because i'm sure my mic picked it up oh i didn't hear it because well, don't worry about it all right, where are we going? We're going to we're going to go find the carriage over here on the right. There might on be the a right? church of Yeah, I think there's a church of America on top of the hill too. So we we should grab the sacred tear because I think we're way behind on sacred tears. Like I checked the last time I was playing, I had max sacred tears and I'm at plus 11, I think. Maybe plus 10. Why would it be plus 11? I plus 11 sounds right, but I'm think I'm at max. Oh, there's pots up here. Yeah, the church is up here, which I think we might get a sacred tear from. But if not, we just need to go find the carriage. Oh, it's one of those right. people. Just one of those people. So what are the oh, rules? Is it still I only have to drink when I die? No, we need to make new rules. Like, um, I mean, obviously, drink when you die. Drink when you fuck up. Drink. Man, I don't know. Drink. Drink every time you do a roll. No. What? Oh man, that wasn't a sacred tier. I'm just no. It was a golden Fuck order it. seal. It was useless. useless. Drink every time you pick up a golden order seal. Drink every time you pick up a centipede. Drink any time you pick up a fucking crafting ingredient that you're not gonna use no. ever. No. You yes. can't just make up things up. It's gotta make sense. All right, where is this wagon? Come on now, wagon. Over there. Yeah, it's over there down in the valley. Okay, Dan, pause the recording. Jeffrey, pause the recording. It's Christine's bedtime, and she wants me to say goodnight to her. Okay. Hold on. Jeffrey, cut us in now. Kaka! All right, cool, cool. yes. We're going over this. You see the carriage there. It's in uh -huh. the back of the carriage. 
you've commented about this weapon in the past. And I I use this weapon every now and then. It's not like my main go-to, but you might like it. Oh, what was oh, that? Oh, fuck. I, didn't, I don't remember oh, that. Oh, let me out of this there. prison. <laughs> what happened? It's one of those... You've killed those things before. It's just like one of those like tree parasite things. One of what? The tree parasites, like. Oh, the rat the king show with the guy in his hand. The rat king. Yes, I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot you called him the rat king. Also, now I'm thinking about it. I just watched one of our past episodes where I told everybody that the lore was that. Um, Radon was um, Renala's brother, but that in fact is wrong. I don't know why I said that. But he uh -huh. is her son. He's definitely her son. I fucked okay. up that lore, and I just want everybody to know. What are the buttons? That's the one. Oh Jesus! This is gonna be a long. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. I got. I I've totally forgotten like what things do. Yeah. You've been watching your Japanese woman play, but you haven't been studying the blade. No. Like she has. She's been honing her blade. Oh, that. I forgot about his, like, golden yeah, death ability. Yeah, I forgot about his... Yeah. The golden shower. He's oh, got me in again. the air! <laughs> you just keep getting golden showered, like, all day. I remember in high school there was a when thing you got where golden showered. Well, I'm Dan. I'm not <laughs> even joking. This is where the story's going. In wrestling, like when people were like washing their hair in the public like locker room, when you were washing your hair in the shower, sometimes people would just pee on you, and you wouldn't notice because you were too busy scrubbing the shampoo out of your hair. And like everybody would start laughing, and you'd be like, "Oh, what's going on?" It's like, "Oh, fucking Jerry's peeing on your." Fucking <laughs> just like leg. casual sexual harassment. Yeah. Exactly, and now that I think about that in 2022, it's like, man, that's crazy that people used to just pee on other people. I never did it, and which would surprise a lot of people, because I did a lot of weird shit back in the day, but I never peed on somebody in the shower. Somebody did pee on me one time, though. Do you think I could bring that to court now? I think that it's, like it's been too long at this point. Okay. Go get, uh... Oh, God. I, be I believe the person that PM me in the shower is Jeremy Sandusky. <laughs> you can't say these things. <laughs> no. Is he dead? I think he's dead. I don't think it matters. Dead. Oh, there's a golden seed. Yeah, just like that. That's not what we want, though. We don't need golden seeds. We need sacred tears. Well, why, why can't we have both? I mean, we can have both, but I'd rather have Sacred Tears. I mean, they're about the same. Like, there's an exchange rate, right? Like, the amount of golden seeds it takes to make it one Sacred Tear. Are you ready? Giant the Crusher. Giant Crusher. How big is it? It's, it's pretty big. You've seen it before on, like, an NPC and commented on it. Ooh, that is pretty big. The thing I don't like about this weapon is it literally blocks, like, a third of the screen when you're, like, using it on your shoulder. The problem What's is... The verdict. The swords are much... just too funny. The swords are pretty funny. Because the there's two of them. Yeah. Did you see how much strength it takes to wield the giant crusher? Didn't check. 60 strength. <laughs> oh. oh. Good burp in there. Alright. Did we gather our seeds from this tree already? I think we might we might want to check our flasks before we head into the, I don't I think the holy city of No, I don't know. You need four? Nope. No dice there. Chacho. All right, we're Chacho. heading in. Yep. Up to the, the city. Stairs. What's a good, like, uh, we need to have a good soundtrack for when I go into the big city. We built this city. Like, Pot's going to make his way in the world. On. Seems like not Pot. much has happened. There's got to be something, right? 
just gonna ride past that gargoyle. Mm. Dude, you gotta fight a gargoyle. You've bitched out of every gargoyle fight. Like, when does it end? When does this cowardice of gargoyles end? Like, this is uh, the gargoyle guarding the city, and you're just gonna ride right past him. It's kind of hard to do this on a horse. Yeah, a little bit. He's a, he's a mobile gargoyle. I don't, yeah, I was having an easier time on foot. I just wanted you to die at least once to him. Now, we do have 18,000 souls. Like, how many souls does it take for us to level up? Like 20 some thousand, probably like 22,000. So, when I was out with people earlier, I asked them this question. And I, I know we might have talked about this in the past, but like, imagine a genie comes to you, Dan, and it's like, you can pick a power, but if it's useful at all, then you don't get it. And you don't get to like ask about it. Like, what do you ask for? What do you mean? Like, you have to pick a superpower. Like, the genie will give you any superpower you want, as long as it's not useful. Oh, I see. But, I don't- why would I want a power that's not useful? I mean, it would just be nice to, like, have a little something extra, you know? You but if it- but, like... no, but, because if it would ever be good, wouldn't it be useful? Uh, like, the genie gets to determine that. Like, it can't be, like... He doesn't want you to pick anything, like, super overpowered or something that would be actually, like, useful. Like, just something, like, kind of, like, interesting. Like, what about the ability any, like... to always make a table? Like, the same table every time, and you only have one of them? And no, well, it does, I, either way, just the fact that anytime I need to have, like, something to put something on, I can have a table, like, there. I like this. This is perfect. You see, I like the way you think. Look, everybody that I was talking with, it was, like, coming up with all sorts of nonsense that was either overpowered or just, like, not that good. But that's, that's perfect, Dan. This is why I'm friends with you, because you have these, like, good ideas here. Glad you I know? passed the test. You did. Because that's perfect. So it could be a single table, like, the same table every time. And you could determine, like, what kind of table it would be or whatever. But you can't make more than one table because it's the same table, but you can summon it whenever you need it. That yeah. would be, that would be capital, capital, if I do say so myself. Oh, you're bringing that back. I oh am. My God. I've been thinking about that. Oh! What the fuck just happened? He ended you. He was so you low. You were so close to killing him, too. That did so much. <laughs> it was so low. Oh, but... Picking a table is perfect. Mine, the one I come up with, is just because I'm like a huge fucking pervert. Like, I would like the ability to like look at a picture of somebody and see them naked, no matter what. Of course. Like, do you think do you think that would be granted to me? That sounds like a crime. <laughs> it would be in some cases, I guess. But like, I think in every like... case it would be. Well, nobody would know, and like I that wouldn't. That doesn't make like, it okay. Like, I wouldn't just like jerk off to like I wouldn't just be like in a museum like jerking off to like Queen Victoria's picture or something. Well, I don't know why I, I have to go to a museum just to see Queen Victoria. Yeah, well, you love jerking off in museums. I, uh, it's part of it, I guess. Another good one was. Um, my girlfriend Whoa. said that she would like to have a, a quarter. Like, anytime she needed a quarter, she would have a quarter. But I told her it had to be, like, the table. It had to be the same quarter every time. Oh, you're fucking him up. I'm stuck on oh, that Oh, no, ledge, this though. is gonna do you, though. The fucking barrier. I should have finished him there, but once he gets, like, up and going, he's too strong. Oh, no. I can't get over feeling? this ledge. You need to heal. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, I have the th wrong thing up. I didn't know that. I thought I was healing. Oh. Mr. Jelly, I believe when you finish him for me. No, I'll do it fine. All right. Oh, you finally beat a fucking gargoyle. Ooh. You're gonna be disappointed. It's oh, not that big. it's got like slime on it, dude. Exactly, and that's my biggest issue with these fucking gargoyle weapons. You can get the swords as well, 
And the first time I got it, I was so excited. I'm like, oh, sweet, like a new sword. Like, I always use, I don't use colossal swords like you're using. I use, like, in the great sword category. And it, it was under that category. And then I fucking got it, and it was covered in fucking slime. And I was like, what the fuck is Slimer. this? Slimer. Why? <laughs> Miyazaki, why did you do this? Why do you make, like, cool weapons that are covered in slime? Another one of these things? What up these big tiki torches? Dude, there's two of them there. We got so many golden seeds now. Ooh. The big tiki torches, I think, were like a uh, like a poison, a poison like uh, ballista defense thing. I only know that because of the trailers. Like you can see in the trailers, they're like shooting those out at like the people outside. Looks like so. If you so can't tell, oh god, I'm sorry. Some some people have gathered up here. Yeah. The, there was, during the shattering, the, the big, like, event that happened. Good sir! I don't this think they fight you. Of course not. Hey, he wizard, started it. Favorite wizard. Are you only gonna kill the ones that are coming at you, though? You know what you could do? You could suck them all in with your gravity. <laughs> yeah! Oh, it kills them. It killed them. <laughs> no, they all die. Don't you blow it! Or he wasn't attacking you! He just wanted to play his fucking horn! Like Louis Armstrong. America's favorite horner. No, once it once like one of them like was hostile, then it became everyone is on my list. I see. Not I this know. guy. He doesn't want to fight. Oh, oh damn. This is brutality at this point. I wasn't gonna it's start it. I wasn't gonna start it. I hope one of them is recording on their GoPro and they'll send it to like NBC. How something. do I open this? You don't. Here's the neat It's thing. a pretty you bad door either. then, huh? Well, it's doing its job. It's keeping you out of Why the city. Why not make a don't... fucking wall then? Well, they want to let some people in. But like Where's I was message? saying, during the shattering. Oh, Dan. Dan. What? I just remembered what we're going to do this episode. Oh, fuck. I hope you have enough yingling. Okay. You sh why? It's very ominous, but we will see. We're going to do... Uh, we're at least going to spend a little bit of time in this one area that's upcoming. What is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a magic bug. He wants you to chase him. I'm not going to. We, we don't have time for that shit. So we're gonna There's go... lots of flowers though. Yeah. There's a site of grace up here that we're gonna hit, and there's also like one of those like servant dudes that we need to go see up here. Oh. You know I don't like talking to them. Bats. The peasantry. Yeah, fuck the bats. We don't need to go over there. Servant dude should be around here somewhere. Giant. Oh fuck. He, you know what I mean, though? He doesn't look like these guys. He looks like... Yeah, he's like he all hunched like, over. Like the guys with the long hair and shit. We need to find him. Boom! He's somewhere around here. But you can talk to Mel Melina here. Strang? Is that what we're doing? Huh? Looks like that's what we did. That's what we did. What's up? What's she doing while I'm off, like, getting busy? Spoken echoes of Queen Mar Shall I share them? Uh, studying Qu Queen America's lore, in case you're interested. I'm not interested, really. America, hear me. I know. Okay. So basically, she told the demigods. Oh, did you read that? She was like, either you, like, get rich or you die trying, because you better not come home to daddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, now everyone's going to die. Now that you got me roaming the, the streets. <laughs> Taking out all the demigods. Right? Like, the fact... Whenever they had their death curse or whatever added or removed, they're probably like, oh, that's no big deal. Because who's going to fucking kill me? Like, I'm a big badass. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. We made a terrible mistake. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's like down this way, I think. Down here? Yeah, just like one of those servant dudes. Do you see him anywhere? Oh. 
Oh, that I see him. Yeah, this guy right here. I see the smoldering with that wretch flame. <laughs> it's your buddy. You remember this guy? Oh yeah. Is it really him? Uh kind of? I mean it's not really him. It is him, but he he obviously took over that like servant dude. What are you... and like this is like a projection of himself. So he's not dead? I didn't actually kill him? No. If you remember, at the end of whenever you, you killed him, quotation marks, he said, like, hey, like, I'm gonna get you one day, you little bitch. Like, you basically, really? like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, go back and watch it. He says, like, ah, uh, uh, like, uh, he's like, you're nothing, and I'm gonna fight you again one day, pretty much. Why is he such a sore loser? Yeah. He's a mouldy little bitch, too. He talks so fucking much shit. Like, I feel like I fought people that were more badass than you, my friend, who, like, had the decency to, like, give up. You're fucking him up, though. He's not doing a good job. I think he wasn't intended for horse-based combat initially, was he? <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Not too far oh, away. Man, you just had to like talk shit. I know, I like how we're talking about him being mouthy. He's not gonna get you with that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so, do you remember what this guy's name is? Uh, it's kind of like the goat man of... The goat man? The goat. Like, uh, oh, it's the same, it's the same name as, um, I do remember what it is. Yeah, okay. it's Margaret. Yes, you're right. Oh, he's not, Margaret. I thought he was gonna die. He didn't die. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he did, he did. Oh, that was so close. I know, right? I stopped because I thought he was gonna be dead. Well, that yeah, was a really you got you got a pretty good talisman there. It's, it's Margaret. like a plus one like uh, stamina talisman. Margaret the Fell Omen. And so, if you would have talked to old uh, old Big Ears back at the home base, he would have told you that the the boss that we're gonna fight here is named Morgoth. So, um, like his brother. Not exactly. It's actually just him. He just has a name change. Like, for some reason, like, people in this game, like, Rani, remember she called herself R R Oh, Rena yeah. Or something? It was very similar. Like, people, yeah, people just like to switch their names to something similar. You want to go to the Windmill Town? Over there? Yeah, it's not really where we're, go where we're going, but I think it will make a good bit of contact going to the Windmill Town, just because it's kind of, like, entertaining over there. Where did that, what was that even? We're we're currently riding away from the city wall. Whoa, whoa, so whoa, whoa! Were there people on those? Get... What the fuck? Yeah, so there's like little dudes. There's oh, little I didn't men. even see him. He's, he's he's taking a fucking lunch break, right? Now. If these guys wouldn't have shot at me, they would have lived. I see. But I can't risk getting like you know trebucheted. I wish that was like a problem I had to deal with in my everyday life. I do not wish that was a problem. I'm quite happy that isn't noise. a problem. Anytime I leave oh, the house, right? like, oh, the fucking trebuchets again. It would definitely make life more entertaining, though. If, like, Until every now you and died. Then, like... Oh, no! Whoa. Oh, you can't Todd Howard out of this one. Probably not. No. There's no way. Fuck it, I'm leaving that up. one then. I'm done. <laughs> Like, you would see somebody get trebuchet, but it would never happen to you. Man, we're getting so many of these fucking seeds here. Holy shit. Love seeds. Hey, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. I love Todd Howard's seed. Another trebuchet. What are they even shooting at? Certainly not me. We're going to go up to the Woodmill Village and see what they're all about in Woodmill Town. Are they going to fight right me? Because I'll kill them all if I have to. Well, we'll see. We're taking a trip to the Netherlands. So grab your clogs and grab your hogs. We're going to the Netherlands. 
That's the new PR marketing for the Netherlands. Yeah, grab your hog, grab your clogs. Yeah, we don't want to do this on our horse. We want to take our time here. Oh, they're dancing. <laughs> How you doing? How do you feel about all this? this I don't know how to do that. How do I dance? I don't have that option. You can like do an emote. Though. I can yeah, like look, I can I can jump for joy. Jump for joy, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Seems like a okay like a witch's this? convent or something, doesn't it? Yeah, you think Pot's okay with this like merriment and this witch's convent? Yeah, I mean, he looks... I mean, this is what he assumes the lower, like, people are doing most of the time, right? Living their simple peasant remember, lives. Do you remember that movie that we saw? What was it called? Um, Midsommar? Doesn't this, like, remind you of that? Oh, yeah, bit? kind of. Hey! Oh, shit. Oh, they're coming at you now. Because you fucking attacked their dog. Their dog attacked me! That one has a butcher's knife. Oh, dog is the most powerful being. Yeah. I really want to see you do your like gravity suction power when they're all just like standing around dancing, just to, like suck them in. Oh, she's getting she's fucking breaking oh. me. Oh, this old fucking grandma just putting you to the sword. Why did they do that? I think because you like aggroed that dog. Oh, we're just attacking them now in, like, cold blood. They started it. But these ones weren't attacking you. They're all that part of the same. That was on a stick. No mercy. You get one chance from Pot. I think that's been made very clear in previous episodes. Man, I've been, like, playing, Is that like, one of those things game. I don't want to fight? Oh, you remember these guys? Yeah, th the this one's not as noble. fat as the other one was, though. Yeah. I'm glad that you remember that. It's pretty good. I don't want any I mean, of that. You don't want to fight him? I mean, he's a boss. Why not? He's not that tough. Well, I don't think he's that tough. I think he's easier than the fat one. Oops. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, there, yeah, that um, move is a little bit dangerous. So, there's like one of those like little ghost dudes that like gives you exposition like on the ground back there. And he's like, oh, please, like, don't skin me. So, apparently, like, these witches are skinning people and like making like little suits for like these guys because they have like little skin outfits. Oh, you're stuck. Like, you... buffalo, like buffalo Bill. The music's good, though. Yeah. Man, this one really loves the fire. They both do. They like the black fire. Well, man, you're so lucky those fucking moves, like, went over you. I know, right? Oh, he's doing oh, something. Don't, yeah, don't go near him right now. He just kind of buffed himself. What? Now, now he's a snake man. I honestly think he's easier like this, because when he does those dumb snake moves, they never land. Oh. Oh, that was so stupid. I mean, I think you can beat this guy. You might as well just get the extra souls so we can level up a bit because we are super under leveled. As is normal. As is tradition, yeah. You know, I prefer it that way. To show my power. We don't have it any other way. I mean, this 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 video or this series has like taken a bit of a transition though because at the beginning of the series you were all about like summoning and like. You didn't want to like have to do any of the hard work, but I think you've realized that you like enjoy a bit of a challenge that you want you want to struggle just a bit because it makes it worth it in the end. I would summon if I was allowed to. I mean, you didn't for Dawn though, and that was just that was because they wouldn't let me get Mr. Jelly. It's the only reason. I mean, yeah. yeah, those are the rules. As long as you can uh. summon Mr. Jelly. 
Heat you on a bit of aggro here. Uh, oh, fuck. As you get getting greedy. I think you should do one of your big uh, gravity smashes. We need a name for those. Like, what is that called? <sighs> yeah, that move the doesn't old... really have a name. Oh, I got a drink. The old ground beef smasher. The old ground beef musher. I don't know why I'm thinking about ground beef. And what are you though. thinking of ground beef for? I really like a good ground beef. One of the best ground beefs I've ever had was from like, for my birthday last year, Christine like rented us like a little like, it was like one of those tiny homes, like in the middle of a Scottish cow ranch. Just cause she knows that I really enjoy Scottish cows. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of it, the guy was like, hey, hey, he like pulled open his like jacket and he was like, hey, hey, boy, you want to buy some of the ground beef that I get from these cows? And I was love. like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I guess so. Like, I guess I will do that. And it was fucking phenomenal. It was so good. But you fucked them up. Oh, he turned into like a Mr. Day, Slank. Right? Mr. Slank. Mr. Slank. Everybody's favorite Toy Story character, Mr. Slang. Oh, he's poisoned. Look, he's got the green fart gas. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, just, a lot, just let Mr. Jelly finish. Oh, his bottom half can't protect itself. Oh, this is bad. What is, that? What, is that? what is that? What is that? Oh, what is that? What the fuck? Oh, I'm stuck on a rock. That? Oh fuck! He's about to die. Like on what happened right there? He did his big one, big move, the big Sally. They should have just taken the damage and attacked him. I guess at that point, I think you would have taken damage if you would have run through his like little circle on the ground, though. Man, we got fucked by a rock there. Stupid fucking rocks. Mm-hmm. You ever wonder about that though in like fantasy fantasy settings? Like IRL, like rocks are where they are because of like prehistoric like ice age movement and like glaciers. But like did this world ha also have like glaciers and like prehistoric like ice age movement? Oh, we didn't pick up our souls, dude. Don't worry about it. I'm you worrying. You standing over top of We have like 20,000. You in you should know from watching these videos that I oftentimes forget to pick them up until after I kill a boss that had previously killed me. Oh, I see. Oh, that was a bad one. Well. Oh, he's poisoning it. This guy gets poisoned really easily. Mr. Jelly's clutch for this guy. I'm on the rock again. Maybe the rocks are where they are just because that's where the tree wanted to put them. Oh, the Ur tree? Well, you would know if you read some lore that the Ur tree wasn't always like in charge. Like, well, it we wasn't don't know always, that the rocks like, were always there tree. either. I mean, I guess that's a fair point. Oh my God. <laughs> we tricked you. That was a sneaky one. You thought you were going to hit his butt, but his butt moved. It's kind of like Mrs. Incredible. That's what he's like. Kind of, yeah. There are a few characters in fiction that I would like to have sex with more than Mrs. Incredible. And I really? think most of the population agrees with me. I've never really she's felt pretty. that way. Imagine all the things you could do with her, though. She's so stretchy. Oh, he's doing... Oh, God. That does so oh. much, that one. Imagine if Mrs. Incredible, you were having sex with her. Mm -hmm. Imagine you like, you're getting ready, right? You're like trimming your pubes. You're like getting, you're brushing your teeth, getting your mouth ready. Uh, at the same and time, then, I trim my pubes and brush my teeth at the same time. You got two exactly. hands for a reason, people. Exactly. And then you go into the bedroom. I don't want to have to defend myself anymore. Imagine you go into the bedroom and you're like, this is weird. Like, where's the light switch? And you like go to touch the like light switch wall, and it's dead. It's just like slippery and wet. 
and you're like, what's going on here? And then you go like to pull out your phone camera and you like turn it on and you're just like a dark, wet cavern. And you're like, what the fuck's going on? And you realize then that you're inside her vagina. Oh, and you're like, what the <laughs> fuck are you saying right now? <laughs> you it. You went inside a cave, but the cave is her vagina. <laughs> it's so wet and warm. And you just like, and then you I hear a voice from far away. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> What is this terrible fanfic that you've clearly thought about way too much? She's just like, hey, like, just jerk off inside me. But it's, like, huge. So you can, like, sit down and, like, just have, like, a wank whenever you want. What does she, she get stretch out of herself. It? Well, she's stretched. She's so big. She feels you, like, walking around inside her. And she just wants you to, like, nut inside her. I don't... I have... But Never seen I anything like to indicate that she can you, stretch too. like that far, Jesse. What? What do you mean? She's infinite. She can stretch as far as she wants. No, that's not true. She has limitations. And in the movies, she struggles sometimes to reach a certain stretchiness. I don't know why oh. you think she could stretch to a point where her vagina could be disguised as a small cave that you could walk in without realizing. That's somebody's fantasy. Yours! I mean, a little bit, but not really. Actually, yeah, I would dig that 100%. I lie. Like, I never thought about that till now, though. And now it's like I have unrealized potential in my dreams. Oh, did you see that? What? Mr. Jelly poisoned him right before he died. Like, he had one more, like, little spitty thing, and the guy wasn't poisoned. And then when Mr. Jelly died, he was. Oh, shit. This is it. The horse room. We're gonna get everybody involved in this one. Mr. Jelly, Torrent. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. And her cavern-like vagina. I mean, but think about it in the reverse, though. Imagine. You're balls deep in this. is incredible. <laughs> and she just... She tightens around it like a fucking boa constrictor. Like around like a small like capybara. And you're just like, oh, like, this is so tight. I don't think it could ever be any tighter. And then she fucking just crushes your wiener. And you're like, oh, fuck. That was so good. <laughs> oh. What are you saying? Yeah, I think this is too much for YouTube. I don't even think this could go on YouTube. Like, I think my words are classified as, like, erotic fiction. Now. I think it, that is, like, you really might have crossed the line there, yeah. We'll see. Well, that guy was a lot of souls. Nice. Okay, I didn't do my research. But we're not going to do it this episode, but maybe next episode, like, remind me. You know how you have that, like, that little arsenal charm that, like, allows you to have your carry weight up? Mm -hmm. There's one of those plus one that's in this, like, not this like, direct area, but, like, somewhere in this, like, zone that we should go get at some point just so that we can wear, like, heavier armor. Wow. I hope somebody enjoyed this episode. Like You, apparently, yeah. Certainly not Mrs. Incredible. I mean... You know how it is with Pixar and moms. They're always like the hottest characters. I like mean, do you, do you have do you have like an ending thing? Oh, oh, like a question? Mhm. Mm All right. If you had to pick one of the incredible superpowers, which one would you pick? Violet. Do I need okay. to justify my decision? Not really, but I was just wondering in that moment if you were more attracted to Violet than this is incredible. Um, it, well, I wasn't thinking, like, sexually when I made my pick. Well, what would you do with that power, Dan? I mean, it just seems useful, because she can be invisible and she can have shields. Yeah, do you need shields a lot? Or would you just, like, go and, like... Go I'm just thinking, like, if I was doing things that, like, superheroes did. That just seems. Oh, there's so many of them down here. This will be a good one. This will be a good one. Why? Whose power would you want? 
<laughs> uh, probably dash. Like, I've just been, like, a fat, slow man my whole life. Like, I need to, like, have a little speed. Like, that would be good to be fast for one. Okay. That was a satisfying one, though. That was a lot of souls. Dash? Yeah, dash. Oh, could we just, like, farm this area for old women? Like, all day? Probably, yeah. I don't... You I'm not one to phone. do that, though. You need to farm for souls. Just go kill these old women. They're gonna kill me, though. They... Oh. oh, she's eating herself. Spitting it. All right, this episode that, is over. That was over. Yeah, that was fucked. That's a good place to end it. All right, yeah, Violet and Dash. That episode was a little wet and wild, but we'll see. We'll see if it gets taken down on YouTube.